At Electro Expo 94, held in Richmond, Virginia, engineers, fleet operators, government officials, and utility representatives from throughout America witnessed a unique demonstration of techniques for load management of electric vehicle chargers. The strategies set forth were particularly designed to accommodate the needs of three major user groups, the electric utility, the commercial EV fleet manager, and home charging customers. The demonstrations which follow illustrate design efforts underway to incorporate the necessary communication capabilities to the MagnaCharge inductive charging system. The offboard charger being featured is the MagnaCharge wall mount model, capable of 6.6 .6 kilowatts of power output. It hooks up on a standard house voltage, 240 volts, single phase. The charger will transfer power to a vehicle inductively after inserting the plug, or what we call the paddle, into the inlet located on the vehicle. After insertion, a communications link is made with the vehicle to allow inductive power transfer to the vehicle's batteries. For the demo, an electric vehicle is simulated by a vehicle facade and the EV's battery pack with a tree of light bulbs. When power is transferred, the light tree will have DC current going through the light bulb filaments to represent a battery load. The brighter the light, the more power being transferred. The charger will display the current charge level of the batteries. To stop charging, simply pull out the plug or paddle. The process is simple and safe. In fact, you can pull out the paddle during full charging load with no risk of arcing. And because there are no metal-to-metal -metal contacts, charging can occur in the rain with no risk of shock. It is totally safe. Electric utilities may need to manage EV charging load as electric vehicles become prevalent in our transportation mix. Chargers must have the communication capability to incorporate a utility's load management strategy. These strategies will require the charger to respond to remote utility control during peak load conditions. An ability to turn chargers on or off or throttle back power of operating chargers will be essential for effective load management. Here we have simulated what a console in a utility operations center may look like to remotely control chargers on a given circuit. As shown, the operator will have the ability to monitor circuit load as well as the load directly associated to in-use EV chargers. By polling the circuit, the operator can have the status of all chargers on the circuit. In the event that load control is necessary, on, for example, an extremely hot summer day, the operator can shed load on the circuit by decreasing the power output of in-use chargers. This technique is known as throttling, which allows charging but at a slower rate and provides the customer a more obliging option than simply turning off all chargers. To demonstrate this, an operator will issue a command to throttle power to 50%. In our demo, the command is only received by the charger with the red vehicle. The communications medium used is power line communications. These magnet charged chargers are equipped with a Cyplex Powerplex communications modem, which passes status and control information over the secondary AC power lines. By observing the dimming of the light tree, you can see that the charger's power output has been reduced by 50%. If further power reduction is necessary, the operator would send another command to throttle power to 25%. Further dimming of the light tree illustrates this effect. When the peak load condition passes, the utility would allow full power output to the chargers. A utility may want this to be an automatic procedure for a circuit by setting specific trip points for self-operating throttling. Automatic throttling capabilities of chargers can also allow specific distribution equipment, such as a transformer, to be locally protected. The communication capabilities on the magnet charge line of inductive chargers will give the utility the further ability to receive current operating status of a specific charger. A utility would have the ability to view a customer's charging status before deciding to execute a planned outage. In the event of an unplanned outage, the magnet charge charger is designed to automatically resume charging after power is restored without manually resetting. These load management capabilities will allow utilities to cost-effectively incorporate additional charging load to their system. The EV fleet manager will need the ability to control multiple chargers so that billing demands are minimized. Design is underway to develop a PC-based software to control multiple chargers through power line communications. 
The software, called the Maestro, is being designed to orchestrate a charging strategy to minimize charging costs while fulfilling fleet needs. In our demo, two vehicles, red and blue, are to be charged. The Maestro software will limit the power demand of these two chargers so that both chargers will not operate simultaneously at full power. This can be seen by the simulated bar charts, which shows the red vehicle at 100% and the blue vehicle's charger only being allowed to go to 25% output power. When the red charger's power cycles down 50% of maximum output, then the blue power level is allowed to rise to 50%. This load limiting capability will minimize power demand cost to a fleet manager's electric bill. Other functions such as time delay and on-off sequencing will be incorporated to the product software. The private EV owner will need a convenient way to charge the vehicle at home during off-peak periods. This can benefit the customer by taking advantage of reduced electric rates during off-peak rates periods. The utility benefits because the home charging loads are shifted to off-peak periods for which generation capabilities are more available. To accommodate home charging needs, a remote control device called the Charger Buddy is being developed. The Charger Buddy is conveniently located in the home and plugs into any AC outlet. The homeowner uses this device to conveniently program delayed charging to off-peak periods. No need for an EV owner to journey into their garage at midnight and plug into their EV. Simply plug in after work and forget it. The charger will come on automatically at the preset time. With a push of a button, the time delayed function can be overridden to allow immediate charging. This device provides the current charge level of batteries on its own display area and will allow preconditioning instructions for properly equipped EVs. Load management and the Magna Charge inductive charging system, designed to meet the needs of utilities, EV fleet owners, and residential home charging customers.